Radio 1450 WCTC. Call Jersey Central at 732-545-9282. Toll free at 888-545-9282. Watch Jersey Central live online at WCTCAM.com or listen on your smartphone with the iHeartRadio or TuneIn apps. Connect with WCTC on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube by searching 1450 WCTC. And now back to Jersey's Morning Show. Jersey Central. Central with Bert Barrett. It is 737. Welcome back to Jersey Central on the new talk radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It's Bert Barron. Good morning to you. We're going to do our contest coming up sometime between now and 8 o'clock. Two prizes for one winner. Family four-pack of tickets to American Repertory Ballet's The Nutcracker at State Theater. Also, the Brothers in Harmony, their big Christmas show this Saturday at Robbinsville High School. You'll have a chance to win both prizes. We'll do our need-to-know things, and Glenn Burtnick will be my special in-studio guest for the 8 o'clock hour coming up this morning on Jersey Central. We'll talk about his show this weekend at State Theater, New Jersey. Well, I don't know if you know or not, but millions of Americans struggle with their weight. In fact, more than 70% of the U.S. population is considered either overweight or obese. And this time of year, as you know, makes it very difficult time to control our weight. And uh, here on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline this morning, to perhaps uh, share some information about kind of keeping the weight uh, management under control during the holidays, I want to welcome in Dr. Matthew Pittman this morning. Uh, just with some suggestions as to how we can kind of get through this holiday here. Uh, Dr. Pittman, welcome to WCTC. Your timing could not be better because during the news break, we're having an event at the radio station today and some breakfast, a catered breakfast was delivered. I couldn't help but grab a little tiny blueberry muffin off of the uh, the breakfast tray. Probably the healthiest choice that was on there. But uh, yeah, even I need to kind of control myself uh, this time of year. And it's something that everybody kind of wrestles with, right? Morning, Bert. Absolutely, we all do. You know, the holidays are tough, and exactly that. You know, there's there's food uh, available at every event. Uh, there's baked goods and cookies, and uh, it seems like you know every uh, every gathering we go to over these few months is always based around uh, a meal, uh, and that's great. It's a, a really good way to get together with friends and family, but uh, it can do some damage to the old waistline for sure. Yeah, no question. I'm telling you, Doctor, it's been nothing but parties and lunches and evening gatherings since really two weeks before Thanksgiving. Giving, and it's going to go all the way through Christmas and through the first of the year. And as a guy who was lucky enough to drop a lot of weight over the course of this year, now it's like I'm, I'm just trying to get to the finish line of New Year's Day and, and kind of get back into some good habits here. But what are some things uh, that my audience needs to keep in mind this holiday about uh, kind of keeping everything in moderation, especially when it comes uh, to, to eating habits? Absolutely. And so, you know, there's some basic tips that you can follow, uh, and, and it's mostly just really doing conscious eating throughout, throughout the holiday. One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is uh, skipping meals when they know they're going to have a big event uh, later that day or later that evening. You know, the thought, uh, thought is, well, I'll skip some meals for lunch or some calories for lunch or breakfast, and then I can have them later in the day. And what you actually find is you go into that next meal so hungry that you actually end up consuming far more calories than if you had just had a, a healthy kind of protein-based snack for breakfast or lunch uh, that would help curb off some of that hunger going into that meal. So I always tell people, you know, for, for breakfast, do a little, a little low-fat yogurt uh, with some fruit or do a little bit of uh, lean protein like turkey sausage or something like that. It will help, uh, help you be much less hungry when you go into that next meal so it won't seem like you're uh, – like you're, uh, you you know, starving yourself. <laughs> yeah, even if you, I guess you find yourself, doctor, this time of year, maybe kind of falling off the wagon a little bit. A good friend of mine reminded me last week that, look, you're not going to gain a tremendous amount of weight just by simply overeating one time. And conversely, you're not going to lose a lot of weight just by skipping one meal. So it, I guess the key is to, you know, stay in those good habits. And you know what? If you, you knock off a few pounds, great. And, you know, put the little bit of effort in to keep those couple of pounds off. Exactly. And it'll make uh, those New Year's resolutions come January 1st a lot easier if you haven't set yourself back uh, so much over, over, uh, the, over the holidays. Yeah, and it really should be, Doctor, as I'm sure you well know. It's a 12-month-a-year thing, but it just seems like it's heightened this time of year. I mean, everybody's coming to the office like, oh, here's some cookies I made, and here's a cake I made. <laughs> exactly. And we have a wonderful, wonderful exactly. local partner who is one of the best bakeries in New Jersey, and they are constantly sending over uh, all these delicious, wonderful yep. things, which I'm telling you, they are they are to absolutely to die for. But I guess it, it, it remains everything in moderation, Doctor. That continues to be the rule of thumb, I guess, whether it's food or anything, right? You are exactly right. You know, one of the worst things you can do is completely uh, deprive yourself. You know, if you're you're going to become so fixated on the fact that I didn't allow myself to have a single cookie over this whole time, just make a, you know, 
again, in moderation. And so make some healthier choices throughout the day and allow yourself that little cookie or that little side as your extra calories, you know, throughout the day. But uh, a nice thing to do is if you can, especially in the office when all these things are coming in, is to keep some healthy snacks around too. You know, some mixed nuts, string cheese, little things that you can just keep with you so that when you see that, you're feeling a little bit hungry, you can have the healthier snacks so that you're not going for that baked good every time you want a little a little uh, snack in the day. Yeah, string cheese. My assistant makes fun of me and says I eat like a, a 10-year-old kid because I sit at my desk and yeah. eat string <laughs> cheese. I'm like, I'm telling you, it's better than eating candy bars, so... At least it's a you little are bit exactly of right. It's a healthier You're choice, exactly at least. Right. Uh, Doctor Pittman, can you talk about? All... Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, no, go ahead. No, I was just going to ask you if you could just talk a little bit about, uh, you know, some people, no matter what they do, uh, just can't seem to lose weight, and it, it's a difficult thing. Yep. I feel bad for people that kind of work hard at it, and there really comes a point for someone who is is facing a, an obesity or overweight situation where the surgery has to get involved. And for some people, unfortunately, Absolutely. it's kind of a life or death thing. What are some things that, that, yep. that people should look for when they know that maybe surgery is the best option for them? And this is something that is sort of your, 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 your wheelhouse, right? Your, this is your sweet spot. Yep, yep. This, this, this is my specialty. This is my jam. So, no, you know, I think the first and foremost is understanding that you need some help, that you need assistance. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, obesity is a disease just like anything else. Um, and, and there's a point where you need to seek some professional help. Uh, so one, make sure you look for a center, I think, that is a comprehensive, well-balanced center. You know, here at Northwestern, we utilize dietitians, obviously myself, the surgeon. We use a bariatric endocrinologist, exercise specialist. You don't want to come into this thinking, well, it's, I have my surgery and that's done. And it's, this is really, the surgery is a tool to assist. But, but what needs to happen is, uh, is a, a true lifestyle change with that, and, and there's experts here that can help with that. And so uh, when, when a patient is doing their research thinking about surgery, really look for one of those comprehensive centers that can attack the problem from all angles because everyone's story is different. Everybody, uh, you know, uh, obese patients all come from different backgrounds, and, and their weight gain comes from a, a variety of reasons. And so unless you're looking at it, you know, from a whole picture, uh, you're never going to have long-term success. Yeah, we have some very renowned uh, bariatric facilities and hospitals uh, here in New Jersey, uh, Dr. Pittman, that I'm sure Absolutely. you've heard of and you're very familiar with. And yep. I think we've got some some really good doctors and some really good options here. And it seems like there, there's trends. You know, uh, sometimes it's it's the lap band, it's the bypass. There's one now that involves a sleeve. There's one that involves little yep. inflatable balls that go in your stomach. Well, what's the current <laughs> one? What, what's the best one right now that you recommend for your patients? So there's no best one. Um, I think that's probably the most important thing is you need to, that a patient should really be looking for a center that offers multiple options. You know, if, if all you have is, is a hammer, everything's a nail, right? And so you want to look for a place that's going to be able to pick the uh, procedure that's going to be best for you, uh, where they can look at uh, your comorbidities, your other health conditions, can look at you as, as, as a whole and determine uh, with your lifestyle and, and, and what you bring to the table, what procedure is going to be best for you. All right. And, and you know, it's a, it's a nice evolving uh, uh, field where we have lots and lots of options now. Uh, so you want to go to a place that, that really can offer all of them. And there always are new technologies that are kind of out there, right, and new uh, new procedures. Exactly. All right. Wow. When you're a hammer, exactly. when you're a hammer, everything's a nail. I'm going to use that. That's, that's, that's great. <laughs> I appreciate that. Dr. Pittman, thank you for your great advice this morning, and all the best to you this holiday season. And uh, hopefully we can talk again thank soon, all right? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. Same to you, Bert. All right. Happy thank holidays. you. You as well. All right. Dr. Matthew Pittman, my guest here on Jersey Central, just uh, talking about some ways to get through the holiday season. I know everything.